All right, YouTube. Today we are going to play some standard. Is it Drake's? This deck was pretty solid at the end of uh, last season, but it got some. It got a new tool that I think is very good. I think that uh, the old Terramander is really good. Terramander is a one drop blue one one flyer that it adapts four for eight, but <clears throat> it goes down. It costs one less. For each instant of sorcery in your graveyard. So it's just kind of like a F Drake's uh, 8 through, or I guess 9 through 12, that are meant to be just like a little faster. Oh, this should not be in here. There we go. Um, it's just a little, like Drake's 8 through 12. And I moved some of like the Niv Mizzets to the sideboard and cut the Search for Escantas to make the deck a little more streamlined and a tad faster. So, so we're going to give a world tonight. We got our counter magic, our nivs for the mirror, and for the mid-range, or for the control decks. Treasure maps for the control decks. And then, like, raptor hatchlings for the aggro decks. Like, star of extinction for, like, the, the black-green kind of decks. So, let's jump into a league and give this a roll. I'm going to play this one first, and then I'm going to do... Play another version with Niv Mizzet. After this, and then I will play Eight Drakes No Niv, and then I will play a version, um, maybe an Arclight Phoenix version with the uh, Terramander in it. I hope I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem like it'll flip fast enough in standard to be particularly good. It might be. You might be right there, Milk Dud, but. I do like how it's just an aggressive thing that chips in there, and then when you have extra mana, you can sink it into it. And we got the we got a Terramander on one, so we're gonna be able to slam him into play. Sacred Foundry. So we're probably playing against Jeskai. My hand is pretty solid against Jeskai. It might be good enough where I want to play the Terramander on two, so I can spell Pierce a search here. Which I think is what I want to do. So we drew the second pierce. So like this one gets, this one gets a uh, searcher's canter. This one gets the fairy. Unless they're playing. Okay, so they're playing a Naya deck. Okay. All right. Growth chamber guardian. That thing's dead. So let's get this out of here. My opponent's likely going to play like a Rhythm of the Wild this turn, which is going to be tough to beat, but we can play two Terramanders, play a Tap Land, or hold up like Spell Pierce for something. I give this, what are we getting? Haste or. <clears throat> okay, so it's a 4 4. All right, we'll play two of these guys. Play this tapped. I guess I could have just jammed this Drake. If, if they had made this a 3-3, three, three, I would have played the Drake. But I want to get two cards in play here. And I, I guess I could get, like, Dom Reed. Okay, Shock. Into Lightning Strike. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to play... I should have done this the other way, but I go like this. We don't want to get Vivian, so I'll hold up the spell Pierce. But we're gonna have to get on the board here a little bit better. Land well, okay. Okay, so we kill Cam Beacon Bolt this thing. We have not drawn enough a lot of instant sorceries this game. Some of the spinner wheels will be good. Alright, well that's not bad because I can still counter Vivian. Um am I blocking this thing? I don't think that I am. So 
So let's get in for a point. I played, uh, I was playing against Caleb Durward in Legacy, and he was playing two of these. Hopefully, I need like a Discovery Dispersal or a Chart, of course. That thing is a problem. So he's making a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. All right, well, Lava Coil is going to fix some of my problems. I can actually, like, Lava Coil this. Beacon Bolt this. I can Lava Coil this and double Spell Pierce it in order to just make my Drakes larger. Or I can Lava Coil and Spell Pierce at one time, which I probably have to do at this point. Because I need to start like getting on the board here. Alternatively, I could Lava Coil this and Beacon Bolt this. And it cuts off my opponent's mana. Because they missed mana last turn. So I don't really want them to hit anything. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Get that. I guess I could have also gone Lava Coil Beacon Bolt on that thing. Which probably actually was the play. I made a mistake here. I should have killed this. I should have just taken the two for one. But now both my drakes blocked this. But <clears throat> there's a chance that uh, this thing can just kind of like activate its way and get out of control. <clears throat> I need to hit like a discovery, a charter course. I think I put two things in the graveyard and then I'm good. All right, Kinnon Phoenix is, washes up really well against these drakes. Okay, that's what we're looking for. All right, put in the graveyard. Put in the graveyard. Gosh. <clears throat> so I have to block this. And then maybe I, hopefully I draw a removal spell. If I draw a removal spell, then I can deal with this because it'll pump my Drake one more time or pump, may add another instant sorcery and I can deal with this. What do you got? Just another dragon. All right, now we're dead. I don't think we can beat two of these. Um, I mean, I guess we can still play magic. Oh, no, I don't have enough lands. Got digital land. No, I just dispel pierce. All right. We will scoop this one up. Because I can't kill. I guess I can go. Beacon Bolt this, block here, and then hope to get out of the turn. I think that's what we're going to have to do here. But I guess my opponent just attacks. And then um, my opponent just attacks and with both and then activates this. Then I'm dead because this, this does any target, right? Two damage between any one or two targets. Yeah, so it can hit. It can. They can just shock me if they want to. All right. Well, let's make him do it. <coughs> we just couldn't really get off the ground there. Okay. Scoop him up. All right. So against this deck, I probably want Star of Extinction. Spell Pierces are probably not good. Dive Down doesn't seem great either. But they, they're probably going to bring in like 
whatever they are, Niv Mizzet after, whatever, bringing maybe Lyra after board. So Dive Down does get better. I kind of just want to bring like a Star of Extinction and a Niv in just to be able to tango in the air. I could bring in one more Niv and cut a Terramander. But Terramander is probably going to be better on the play. If it's a 5-5, five, five, then it gets it blocks Rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, I think I'm going to try this. Though maybe I should bring in... Maybe I should cut like one more dive down and bring in a treasure map. If I'm going up to Star of Extinction. Yeah, I like that. Let's try that out. <clears throat> Alright, I would like to play... Okay, we have Terramander into Charticorus, which is the, the combo. We probably couldn't keep his hand if we're on the draw, because we don't have enough way to interact with creatures. But if we're on the play, we get a good start with our 1-2 punch here. Okay, get in there. Draw two cards. And this is a this is the nice part about Tanner It wasn't very good in game one, but being here, we're gonna see see it put in some work. Alright, that thing is dead. Though I'm probably actually okay with my opponent sinking their mana next turn. So I think I'm just going to play an Enigma Drake. If they just want to use their turn to make this thing a 4-4, four -four, then that's okay. Our Drake's going to get large next turn, which means our, our Terramander is going to get closer to flipping as well. Not blocking. Well, actually, well, no, I'm not going to block. Because they, even though they, they aren't showing the level up, they could have like a shock. Yeah, so we'll just deal with this. Probably don't need any more of these. <clears throat> Probably can use more of these because we're going to be able to just keep turning them on. Now let's take care of this. Crack in. <coughs> We're a little, we're a little bit in trouble to like a. Uh, I put an account on this. Okay. Oh wow, I don't have another land. Jeez. So I could just adapt this and get in for nine. But I can just do that next turn as well. So let's just go like this. Play this out. Play that tapped. <clears throat> we can chart a course before combat next turn if we want to to pump these, pump this. Because our Terror Manor is going to be on the cheat next turn. They're just dead to. They're dead to. If two out of the three is connected, they're dead. Okay. So they're just. They're bringing this in. This card might make Dive Down better. Play this. Adapt. And then crack. All right. Terramander getting in there. It was good that game. Might not be good on the draw. Because, like, we're not going to be able to beat in as aggressively. So maybe I should take out some of these Terramanders. Probably should have shouldn't have this in here. Maybe I should try to play a grindier game. Bring in one more Niv. Try to play a little longer. Not be as aggressive with 
Petrie. I'm just going to call this guy Petrie. Even though it's technically Terramander, Petrie reminds me of the land before time. You think so? You think Spell Pierce is good? I think I've got a mulligan in this hand. This hand's too slow. I don't have a removal spell. <clears throat> I thought dive down was kind of like a similar thing. Um, I think the second one of these is going to be good because I bet the first one's going to die. <clears throat> okay, so we get our blood crypt in to play tapped, which is nice. Actually, I'm going to shock it in because... We'll probably be able to smoke a two drop here, and that would give us some tempo, which would be nice. We kind of give it away with this blood crit, but if they don't, then that's still okay. Now we can just um, discovery. Um, I don't think we want any of these. I think we just want action. Like we're gonna find ways to okay. Now I feel dumb. Drawing this. I guess we that's gonna be charter course bait next turn. Okay, so now we shock this and chart. So let's start here. I don't think they play like a blossoming defense or anything like that. Alright, well now this is an option. <clears throat> I kind of think we want this. We want to hit our land drops. I'm just going to ditch this opt. Hit this right now. <clears throat> the problem is they just might not do it, right? All right, let's find a... All right, shock is not what the doctor ordered. Because <clears throat> if he just attacks me and pass, I don't really want to play that game. All right, um, I think I'm going to block. Okay, I'm not going to block. That's nice they're not adding to the board. So we're going to have to trade this Enigma Drake off to get rid of this Rekindling Phoenix. Unless our plan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't think we can take that long off. So let's just go. Let's get this into play. I don't think I'm going to block because I want to be able to block the dragon. Well, if I block here, play land, they deal me for five. They can haste. And I think I've got to block. Yeah, I think I have to trade off here. Now, Jun Shadow probably gets even worse if KCI gets with KCI getting banned because, like, KCI was good against humans. <coughs> And um, if humans comes back into the format, then that's an even worse matchup for the, the Gen Shadow decks. Gross. All right. Need some help. Crackling Drake would be nice. Probably these were or Lava Coil. These were Kindling Phoenixes match up very well against what I'm doing. All right, ask and you shall receive. <clears throat> so I think I want to block, hope my opponent trades, and then I can go, hopefully they play something, I can go land starve extinction.
Or maybe I don't block. No, I gotta block because then I the, the egg's there. Gross. How far behind am I? Can I afford to go like smack this? But then this comes back and my star doesn't do anything. This is so sad. <coughs> okay. This is this is beatable. I'll take a removal spell or probably I don't need this. Okay. All right, there is our boy Niv Mizzet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> Could have kept the dive down, but I think I want to deal with this. Play Niv Mizzet on a board where I'm not threatened. <clears throat> and now. I don't think they have Vivian. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be mana efficient. Like the crackling drake is a two turn clock though. If the crackling drake's a two turn clock, I probably should play this. Heal to this turn. And I think the humans cross back up. Just got control will be in a great place. Good. I thought KCI case just got control was good against KCI in my opinion. The counter spell plus surgical extraction with the white removal, white enchantments, I thought it was good. <coughs> I doubt Boggles ever makes a comeback, Johnny. The deck just has too it, it just has too much of a it loses to itself. Alright, you got it. You can double shot. Okay. We'll take that. Though doing that with Niven play would have been nice. That's nice too. Yield through this turn. There's a should. Hopefully we don't get hit with a Vivian here. I don't really want to shock just to cycle it. All right, we're just going to attack and pass. Boggles does lose to itself too much, Johnny. Boggles has such good matchups against certain decks that if it didn't lose to itself, it would see more play. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> Can I just kill my opponent? Three, six, seven, twelve. Uh, I probably can just kill my opponent. So let's go here. Gonna have to use this. Shoot this. I'm just gonna shock them and see what I find. All right. <clears throat> so we missed off our Niv trigger. Yeah, we got it. Okay. 1-0, which is nice. Oh, this is not Esper. You lied in the Discord. I didn't say I was going to play Esper. I'm not going to play a control deck. 
I tried that. And Teferi is nuts, but I, I just dislike the play pattern associated with being reactive. I'd much rather like to pick and choose what my game plan is. I think I've got to ship this hand. I can't keep this in the dark. If I had a red source, I could keep it. No. Hang on. I'm actually going to keep. We're going to try this. Because I have to hit lands anyways. Breeding pool tapped is nice. So maybe we're playing against a turbo fog deck. I guess there's also like a green, red, green, red. There's like a green, red mid range. Johnny, a 5 0 won't do it. Now we're dead. Because this thing's going to get a counter. Then we're going to be in trouble. <clears throat> Teferi's very good. I am a big Teferi plant. I'm a fan of Teferi. What do we got here? Hydroid Crisis for two. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> we're gonna take one more draw step. If we don't hit a red line, we're just gonna concede. We have we have so many like I've got two can't I've eight two mana cantrips and one and four one mana cantrips. I I don't know if I can keep a hand like this or not. It, it didn't turn out that well. But. <clears throat> okay. So against like these green monsters decks, we want these. Dive down is like not that. I don't really like. I don't really like dive down if I'm not playing Niv. But then Spell Pierce. Actually, Dive Down is better than Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce isn't good. Disdainful Stroke is good. I don't think I want Niv Mizzet. I'm going to keep Terramander on the play because we can go Terramander into Charticors. But I do want like one more. I'm just going to bring these strokes in because they counter the creatures as well. What do they play for big creatures? They probably don't need these Beacon Bolt. Don't need both of these Beacon Bolts on the play. All right, let's try this. I probably could also shave a Shock on the play, but... Wait, are like thing deck? In case I got on, I just do this deck now. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very good deck. All right, I would like to play first. And yeah, this, deck's, this hand's solid. <coughs> I'm going to play the Mountain on one. And if my opponent plays a Land of War Elf, they play a Land of War Elf. Like if I play the Sulphur Falls, I can hit a untap blue source and then go like Terramander Opt. But... Ooh, we're going to get here? Yes. All right. Go, Petrie. <clears throat> hey, Tim, how's it going? The world needs more Twitter pictures of Philly. You should check him out. On, um, he has an Instagram page, Tim. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that it's another threat, which I think the deck needs. And it also, um, turns on Charter Course, which is really nice. Like you go Terramander into Chart, and it's, it's pretty sweet. I mean, and we're going to be able to level it up next turn if we hit a land drop. I'm going to do this now because I can hit a more efficient. I hit a two mana cantrip. I guess I want that. So we'll pass. Yeah, I think it's good. I think this 1 1 might see play in uh, other formats too. Like, I think that you can play this in the Phoenix deck. 
I don't know if it's better than Swift Spear. Like, I doubt it's better than Swift Spear. Oh, wow. We're getting oozy here. All right, we're going to want that. Okay. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each Uzi control. Yeah, we're going to want this. So I could just level it up here on turn four. And it's chipped in for three points of damage. For one point, of, two points of damage. One point of damage already. Which is pretty good, but we're going to play this Crackling Drake. Johnny, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. <clears throat> People have tried some you are in my city list. I played against it and I played a uh I kinda just want to trade. I have so many more threats and then I've already got a cheap threat on the board here. Oh, they just scooped it up. They probably didn't realize this thing was would trade, I don't know. Okay, on the draw. If they've got things like that ooze, I think I want as much removal as possible. I don't think I need as many of these Terramanders on the draw. Which means I probably want like a dive down, another dive down to protect my threats from having less of them. Well, I liked it. I, was, I played against Caleb Durward. He was playing the deck, and the fact that it's just like a bigger Delver in the late game was like was really important. Like he he beat the snot out of me in the late games of of our Delver mirrors. All right, if we could not do that anymore. That would be great. I'm going to shock anything here. Because I would like to untap with a cantrip. <clears throat> I can see it, Johnny. You might, you might have to refresh. All right. Cantrip. Um, we could hit a Terramander. Uh, we're going to put this on top because it's a spell. It's not the, it's the spell we really want. Like, we'd like more card draw, but we just need something at this point. All right, you got it with your Jade Light Ranger. So they drew Watery Grave. They're ditching this. Go lava coil into opt to look for some counter spells. I don't really want to play this Drake unless I can protect it. So <clears throat> if I play this Drake and they go like Chupacabra, they don't have anything going on really. All right, yeah, you got it with the old growth chamber guardian. No, not holding up die down. We kind of need this land, but we also need other spells. I'm just going to put this on the bottom. We, it's kind of greedy, but we're in need of... I think we need more help than that, and I'm just instantly punished. All right, well, let's be mana efficient. <clears throat> yeah, if I, I could have just slammed this Crackling Drake, and even, even if it goes into a whatever it is, I probably should have just played. Well, I don't really want them to. I don't know. Because now if they play Vivian, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Crisis for three? Oh, so you drew one card. Okay. Appears I am getting punished. I'm going to hold, well, I'm going to play it because we might get to this Star of Extinction. <clears throat> Playing some Shimmer. 
I don't know what Shimmer is. I'm pretty fine playing this like a duress game if my opponent wants to like interact with me and not beat me down. As long as they don't chain these, then I'm pretty okay with this. The new impulse shimmer is the pay two to look at four. That's not good. All right, play this. Yield through this turn. Yield through this turn. Shimmer, enchantment. If Shimmer is a battlefield, choose a land. No, that's not it. Sound round up. Oh my god, for rounded up, that would be too much. It, it's, is it more than pay two, look at four? Like, is it actually called Shimmer? Land Oriole, if you got it, they revealed a choop. The old choops and the goops. Well, we got our dive down. One, two, three, four, five. What is it? It is Shimmer of Possibilities. Okay. Sorcery. One other hand, the rest. Maybe that's good. in your hand for the rest in the bottom of your library. So it looks at one more card than Discovery Dispersal. Um, sometimes Discovery Dispersal pumps your creatures. Imagine if I had played that red source. If we were red source on top, we still might do okay here. <clears throat> Until my opponent, like, Carney tees me out of the game. Or Hydroid Crisis. One, two, two... Four, six. <clears throat> I mean, impulse sees some play in legacy. It is an instant, which helps. They just played the incubation druid. Okay, so they're going for like the max. Which means I'm gonna have to. I probably have to kill. Well, now we can chart. I probably have to just run this crackling Drake out here. <clears throat> Make them go down on this. Because they have a Chupacabra. And we, and we can start a Extinction the next turn. And that's going to set them back to where the Krasis doesn't do nearly as much as... Yeah, they're just leveling this up. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, star them. Um, cut off a black source, I guess. I mean, they have a lot of follow-up left, which is going to make this difficult. Like, we know they have at least a Choop, another Krasis, and so, like, we're going to need some work. This version of the deck with the Terramanders is likely worse here because I don't have a card like Rao in my sideboard. No, they did know about this star. They just... They didn't really play into it, but they could have gone up with their... But I guess they go up with um, Vivian, then I just attack it and kill it. They're up so many cards, though. All right, I'm going to kill that Incubation Druid. I'm going to opt first. Uh, we're going to need that to win the game, I think. <clears throat> so we need a threat in the first top couple cards here. So 
Woodland Cemetery. They're just going to run it out, looks like. All right. I'll put this in the graveyard, put this on top. I might as well leave that in my hand in case I find a charter course. Now I'm going to play it because we might need to. Um, I guess we have one more beacon bolt. That was probably dumb to do. We don't have any nibs in our deck, right? No. So I've got one. Two, I have three more Crackling Drakes. I have two more Crackling Drakes, three more Enigma Drakes, and two Terramanders left. Got a negate, bud? Yeah, they do. Cast down. Yeah, I'm dead. So I wonder if I need Niv-Mizzet against this deck. Like, especially on the draw. Like, maybe I go, like, Terramander beat down on the play and then miss it on the draw. And just try to go, like, a slower, more toe-to-toe -to -toe game. Why choose to skip route with Terramander? Because I put my Niv Mizzets in the sideboard to make room for the Terramanders. And I just had to cut something. Like, in the other version that I, I might play this version tonight also. Um... This version is without Terramanders, and I have two main deck nibs. Like this one's a much more like turbo nib version of the deck. <clears throat> you know, because I, I have four maps for the control decks when I need to aggro out nib. Um, I'm one and one right now. I think I lost against a bug deck that I, I think I. Didn't sideboard correctly. Oh uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. We're going for the version without with uh that's the Terramander version right now. I'll probably play the Niv version tonight. How the rest of your stream go, Tannen? Alright, looks like we're playing the mono red menace. So let's make it so we can sure we can shock something. Hey, Ray, how's it going? Okay. I think I'm going to cantrip here because they're likely going to play like a Chain Whirler next turn and I can't kill that with at instant speed, so I'll just sink my mana. I do need a threat. No, oh, bingo. I'm going to grab both of these. It might be a while before we play them both. Especially considering like they can start to frenzy me. It's nice they didn't do that on their turn than like spectacle. Okay. Yield to this turn. Alright, so I'm just gonna lava coil this. And then play an island. Pass. Hopefully we get to pierce something here. Like that. Oof. God, spell pierce is nuts in this deck. Play a Drake. Counter another thing, hopefully. Just getting ready to leave for Iceland. You want an Iceland Ray? That's awesome. My wife's jealous, Ray. Uh, we don't want that. We kind of just want lands. Dive down is also great. You gonna kill this? You gonna double shock me? Double shock would actually kind of suck. All right, so let's start off by shocking this. We can shock it again if we need to.
And we're just going to play patiently. We're pretty far ahead here. My opponent's only got two more cards. There's no sense in getting too aggressive. Oh, opponent didn't do anything. All right, now we can get the second Drake in play. So the Terror Manners actually come out against Mono Red because of Chain Whirler. I don't really want my uh, thing to get Chain Whirled. <clears throat> Yeah, they are very, very dead. You can, that one's good. Pierce that. <coughs> yeah, I think Spell Pierce is just not, like if we watched it in your stream, Tan, I think Spell Pierce is just going to be aces in this new format. We'll see the Northern Lights, Wedding President from Sarah's brother. That's awesome, Ray. That is awesome. So against this deck, we want our Raptor Hatchlings. That's kind of it. I, I think we actually might just be able to go clean swap Terramander for Raptor Hatchling. Then just, like, call it. Like, I could bring in another dive down and cut, like, Beacon Bolt's not that great. Dive down, protect, because they do have a lot of burn, a lot of ways to kill creatures. Have three spears, three down to deal with, just to protect these eight drakes here. So dive down might be, like three dive downs on the draw might be loose. Whatever, we're going to try it. Hey, how's it going, Jack? Um, I will keep my hand healed through this turn. Uh, Harry, wrong person. Wrong person. Yeah, see you later, Ray. My wife says it's fun in Iceland. I don't think we're going to have to spell pierce anything here, so let's just get this, sneak this thing into play tapped. Then we can play our Raptor Boy treasure map. Dude, just slam the wall here. Dude, hatchling, raptor hatchling is sweet. Bit wave the misses. We'll probably watch something. Then I have coaching on the live after that. Doing some more testing tonight. What are you gonna play? Yeah, I will block. It's like, whatever, if, if my opponent wants to then lightning strike, as long as they're not pointing lightning strikes at my head, then I'm okay with it. And, like, worst comes to worst, I can just bite the... I don't really want to lava foil this thing. Sure, deal. I think we're going to look for some gas here. I could kill this. It turns on Wizard's Lightning, but... Well, change that. Put on top... We're going to do this now so we don't get Wizards Lightning. Then pass. <clears throat> and then we're actually ahead on mana now, so we don't have to worry about getting frenzied. Salt Eye. It's more black green from last standard with some good side work cards. Yeah. With like Hydroid Crisis. Okay. So, like, if they send a burn at us, we got them. Johnny, you should play this Drake deck. It's right up your alley. All right, I need a threat because these things flip. All right, well, that's going to get rid of one of these lands. I doubt we're going to need the back half of that. That would discover dispersal of this game. I probably should have played my island. Yeah, I should have played my island. <clears throat> Dad, 
deck box. Yeah, I think Krasis is like we lost. To, we we played a bug mid range deck just barely, and we lost to Krasis. Put a card on the bottom. I'm surprised they didn't scry again. Oh god, please let me spell pierce this. Please play a frenzy. They're gonna frenzy. I'm gonna get them again. That is annoying. Yeah, that's good. So we're gonna get cracked. We can still kill it. One, two, three, four. We can still kill it and hold up spell, and hold up um spell pierce, and dive down. So now with this Drake and a dive down, I'm feeling pretty good about where we are. Because it's going to take my opponent likely two burn spells to kill this. Like, I'm not going to block this thing. <clears throat> I think the teamer deck's good. I think all those decks are good. I just think you'd enjoy playing this deck. They, they draw a card that's nice. Constricts their mana a little bit, which means these are more live. All right, you get the Lava Boy. All right, something to impact the board would be nice, because that means I can attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can even dive down my Raptor Hatchling and get a 3-3, three, because three, it's going to be dealt damage. Dude, this Raptor Hatchling is the stones. Because it's still going to be dealt damage and live through it. <coughs> Dude, this raptor hatchling. Oh my god. Spell pierce. Yeah, I'm just going to spell pierce that. Just any use out of this card is good. This is another really nice thing. Is like People just don't play around spell pierce. And you put enough pressure on them where it doesn't matter. Like where they 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 ate like when they have to, they can't, and then they just never do when you need them to. It's like I'm totally blocking here. Okay, so if they wizards lightning this. Then I'm still good. Because they need another burn spell and I can just spell pierce it. This keeps it around and gives me another 3-3. Three, three. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. They literally... No one can beat a spell pierce right now. This is 13. My opponent's not quite because this is 10. Yeah, so we'll just hold back. <coughs> I guess I should have attacked to make the Hatchling lethal next turn, so then they have to block Raptor Hatchling, which gives me another dinosaur. Yeah, see, now I'm a little punished for not attacking. Removal spell. I guess we'll just keep this opt because it's going to... Add cards in the graveyard. Tell Pierce, I don't think we need you. Block, block. The Raptor actually, the actually is trample. So they actually have to block here. No, hang on, I'm stupid. So they block here. They have to block this here. Then they have to block this. And they're dead, okay. Because it says trample. Yeah, it has trample. Dude, Raptor Hatchling is OP. So you just got Jurassic Park up here. I used to think that Raptor Hatchling was like a meme. And then I played it. And I was like, this card is awesome. I'm going to grab some more tea water. I'll be right back. Are you 
this is a step back. Is that right again? <laughs> no, I didn't. I forgot that it had trample. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, oh they're just dead. You're right. Not close. So if, we have a, if we're playing against a creature deck, then we're screwed. But I don't think you can mulligan this hand. Okay, I'm on a red, looks like. Oh, yeah. What is going on here? All right, I'm just going to get my tap land into play. <coughs> Seems not that good against mono red. What are they doing? They're not playing anything? It's wild. Well, I'm just going to chart a course. I'm not going to hold up. I don't know what they could even play. Like, I guess like, they could play like a Rhythm of the Wild. Um, we're going to hit another land, so I'm just going to discard this. We do want land 5 to go Drake plus crack, drag down. New Drake's been okay. I just want to find ways to interact with the board. I don't really want another Drake. I kind of just want removal spells. So I think I'm actually going to put this on the into my graveyard. And I'm going to put this on top. And then just plan on casting it just to make it a, um, make these larger. And then I'll just slam one block. I might have to spell clear something here. Especially if my opponent goes, oh, they're, they're not flaring burn spells at me. We could lose this game. We're, we're a little bit behind the eight ball. All right, we're opening ourselves up to get getting whacked here, but... All right, we have land five. That's what we're looking for. There's old Petrie. Yeah, I think we're just going to jam this. Though I could play T Petrie, have dive down, shock, and spell pierce. And then I can level Petrie up next turn. One, two, three, four. I actually think it's... Because I'm not blocking this, which is the problem. So I'm taking three, but I get to shoot this. I get to interact with some burn spells, and then I can get to make this a 5-5 five five next turn. If I cast all of these, what are the odds? One, two, three, four, five, six. Play a land. It adapts for two, and I can't play a Drake next turn. I think because even if I do everything I want to, I can't play a Drake that I'm just going to jam Drake. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a version with Niv in the main deck next, but I just wanted to um, try this out. Okay, so they're just going at my face. And we're just blocking here. Like we're not, we're not dancing. Like I'm just gonna block if they want to kill this after first strike damage. It's okay. That was another reason why Petrie wasn't that great right there because it essentially meant that I was taking another three damage this turn. And I might have been able to get another card out of it with a dive down. If they play a chain whirler, okay, they're just dying. Sure. All right, we got three cards out of our out of our uh, our boy. Okay, so now I actually can go one, two, three. I'm actually gonna go Petrie. Shot lava spike this or lava coil this. This is the nice part about this card here, is that it plays like Gurmag Angler, like where you can do a bunch of stuff in your turn and then have it be the last play, and be very mana efficient. The thing that it's not good against is it's not good against Chain Whirler. Like I have to dive down right here if I want to save this. 
one, two, three, four, five, which I do. And now we get to one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I go lava coil this thing. I should have tapped like a moron. And then we start getting in there. <coughs> I'm doing all right, Jen. How are you? God, these guys. Kids these days don't know what a spell pierce does. Uh, add a sequencing here. I should attack first. All right. So again, we're just going to side out Petrie, side out one dinosaur for the other dinosaur. And we're good. <coughs> I do like this. I like this card. I like it because on the play, it enables charter course, which is nice. Because sometimes you just want to like, like you do lose matchups, numbers, like percentages in the control mirror. This hand's great. Because you don't have, um, because you don't have, Whatever it is. I can't think. Um, Niv. But the the Terramander interaction, just having two more threats, the Terramander interaction is nice, which makes me think that maybe we should, I should um, play two of them. Maybe do a 2-2 two -two Niv Terramander split. And forgo something like Treasure Map. I like all my cards, so I'm just going to discover dispersal here. We're looking for a land. All right, we didn't find a land, but that's another cheat spell at least. Oh, man, I have a kink in my neck. Light up the stage. You got it. What do they got? They got another light up. Okay. So we want to make sure that a creature doesn't hit us this turn. And I think now I can chart a course because I wouldn't mind turning like one of these lava coils into another land and then maybe drawing another one. Okay. All right, so now let's just get rid of the discovery. And we're going to shock anything here. We're just going to try to prevent ourselves from getting damage dealt to us, which it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do, fortunately. So now they light up again. So they light up the stage basically cycled. Because they're not going to be able to cast this one, I don't think, unless they have a land. Okay, so now they can. Okay, so they have access to eight cards next turn. I think I'm going to cantrip. Well, I don't have a dive down. I could just get on the board here, because unless my opponent has a lava coil, this drake's going to do a lot of damage. But alternatively, it's my only threat. If they go chain whirl or lightning strike, then they that kind of wrecks me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to make it so they can't cast the chain whirler. I'm going to put this into the graveyard. I'm going to put this in the graveyard. Okay, we drew a spell pierce. Because now. If you cast your Chain Whirler, you look like a, a dingus because it just turns this into a 3 3. All right. <coughs> and now I can go Shock, Lava Coil, Clean Up, Have Up, um, Have Up, Spell Pierce. Or another shock. And just get in there. Dude, this this, this raptor hatchling is unreal. God, I will spell pierce you to the stone age. Yeah. 
I'm just going to... Because, like, Spell Pierce loses value the longer the game goes. So any opportunity I get to trade the, with the card for anything I'm going to do. Um, I guess we're just going to draw a card. I could, like, hold up Shock. There's another Hatchling. My opponent is dead. Unless they have a way to interact with my board. That counts. All right, we're just getting in. I think I'm going to opt for a land, but I'm still going to play this ending with Drake. I don't know if it was... I'll put this on the bottom, because if... Like, the only reason way I'm going to need that is if I drew a second Drake, or if they killed my first Drake. And if they kill my first Drake, then that Spell Pierce isn't what I need. Dude, the Hatchling. Hatchling's too good. Ooh. You say we have a dive down? <clears throat> I wonder if I should be attacking. I don't know. I probably should didn't need to attack there because no matter what, like if this thing connects, it hits. Dive down's too good. All right, let's go for the 4-1. Oh, wait, an hour and 10 minutes into the stream. This deck cooks, moves fast, which is always nice. You know, play two-hour leagues. Again, the next version of the deck we're going to play is this version with Nivs. And kind of, it's kind of got a turbo Niv aspect to it. Because we have we have four turns. I think that search for his candy is gonna be pretty bad in the new format. I think it's too slow and it's mortify is gonna be around. So like in the control matchups, like it's not even that good. It's not it's not like it's not safe. <coughs> Do you just have to believe in the hatchling, Johnny? You just have to live that hatchling life. You say, I am one with the raptor. Let's go warm up tea water. How's the computer backing up and going? Oh, it's better. Oh, you're still the man. <laughs> Alright. I would like to play a Teferi deck because I want to see how relevant the um the Terramander Spell Pierce interaction is. Or not Spell Pierce, Charter Course. Alright, we're gonna keep. Well, you are aggressive, Johnny. This deck is aggressive. Interact, 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 turn the corner. Right? All right, we need to land on top of our deck. Or my opponent to play something I can spell Pierce on turn one, which likely won't happen. I don't think anyone is going to be tapping mana on there. Man, I like I can get hit off flower flares. So that would be nice. <sighs> so we're playing against maybe an Esper deck. Land. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I'm excited to play against this deck. I guess I didn't have to counter that, but they're likely taking it anyways. 
and they may need the surveil. No lands for Dylan. Come on, land. Don't negate me. Oh, we're back in it. The problem is we only have one, two more spell pierces for Teferi. Whoa. This opponent discards a card and you gain three life. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. Um, we might need the two cards at some point in this game. No. Put into the graveyard. Put into the graveyard. <clears throat> I found Blaze Teferi. I'm just going to scoop. So looks like I'm going to scoop. Yeah. You got it, opponent. I concede. Okay, so I think we want to cut all of our removal. Maybe leave in some shocks to be able to hit um, Thief of Sanity. But cards I'm interested in is Niv, all the counter magic, Dive Down, and the two treasure maps. I'm going to leave in... I think I'm going to leave in Beacon Bolt over Shock. Let's see what this looks like. See if I, Maybe I have too many creatures. But I don't need my Terramanders or my Drakes to be huge in this matchup. I just need value. And the Terramander into Charter Course is still the Stones. We've only got 24, 22 instances of Sorcery, which is a little low. Like we boarded out, what? Nine. The good thing is we can get in the air and we can deal with the Thief of Sanity, which is good. I'm just going to try this. I'm going to try to get on the front foot. Maybe board in some more removal on the draw. I would like to play first. Jeez. All right, sounds pretty good. We have the combo to make up for our mulligan, which is nice. We have on top. We don't need another one of these. All right, Petrie. Here we go, Petrie. We have pausing my upkeep for opponent. And in this matchup, it's like it's okay that like we we've sideboarded in such a way to make it so this card is slower, and it's okay if it's slower. All right, let's get in here, and we shall draw two cards. We unfortunately did not hit land. Yeah. He can be a little guy. And we're still in good shape. Sounds like my tea water is warming up. 
be right back. I turned the heat off, so I left it on there. So it'll just keep it warm. All right. I don't want any of that. So we can't overextend anymore. <clears throat> because we want to be able to counter like a Kaya's Wrath here. That's nice. I'm just going to keep chugging. A cantrip would be nice to help supercharge these, but just because we're on the battlefield, we're doing okay. Hit that again. Man, these spell pierces have been so good this entire league. I'm still going to, like, if they settle the wreckage me here, I'm going to disdainful stroke it. Mortify. Okay. We still can't level up, so we should just keep waiting. They jam Niv or Teferi. It's Lyra. Sweet. There's actually an argument to letting that land and then untapping and killing it, but. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can still do this and level up one of these. I don't think I want either of these. Actually, I do want this. Which means if I put this on top, then I can't level one of these up, but I'm just going to get two more cards. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually level one of these up at the end of the turn. Okay. I'm not gonna do it though. We're gonna keep our mana open. Get in there. Put this on the bottom. All right, we'll jam this as well because it's just something to do. Okay, let this go. So we could be in a little trouble, but my opponent is pretty much out of cards. We have this map going on. <clears throat> I think we're going to put this on the bottom. I don't think we can afford to... Um... Okay, let's just jam this. It's a little too slow. Play this, shock in. <clears throat> so does my opponent have a chromium? If they have a chromium, then I'm just like I'm in some trouble. But at least they trade. Uh, okay. 
whole deck of cards. I think I want let's put this on the bottom. Let's opt. We're just looking for anything that attacks. That plays. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can just flip this. One, two, three, four, five. Put this on the bottom. It flips. We play my homeboy, Mr. He's a mean one, Mr. Nim is it? Now it's like Nim is it with three cards in hand. They have nothing. So this game is over. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think we want to board any differently on the draw. Uh, maybe we want a little bit more removal. Like maybe I can cut like one Enigma Drake for another shock. Just to be able to shoot it to Fairy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Or not shoot it to Fairy, shoot it like a whatever the dude is. I actually want another beacon bolt now that we saw Lyra. Damn it. Alright, well we're gonna get Petrie down. So they they're probably gonna take um this in if they if they have a oh, whatever it is here <laughs> they might take dive down hands pretty solid against most you know it's just a good we need mana so they might take this treasure map just because it'll it's what's gonna help me find mana and I'm probably just going to jam this treasure map on two if they don't take it because I want this to resolve because I need help, even if it lets, leaves my Terramander up to getting whacked. Yeah. You can yield through this turn. They're just chilling out in their upkeep for some reason. <coughs> History of Benalia. All right. Oh, that's a land. Um, this might prove to be a bit of an issue, but we'll figure that out later. We can interact with it through combat. Um, we'll have to figure that one out because this is a lot of damage. Yikes. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to discard something to make it so that it was going to be easier for this to level up or not. The land isn't doing anything. Maybe I need more. I probably should have sideboarded more removal after seeing what they were doing here. Now I'm just dead. Because this pops. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't need to prolong this. There are hands set up. Maybe I think I boarded poorly in that game, which was my fault. <laughs> 